Hello, I'm Monica. In this video, you will learn to add a dashboard to your Open Java application. It's very easy because you only need to write a simple Java class with getters that return the data you want to display and a few annotations. The first step will be to create a project using the invoicing template, which is similar to the last lesson of the Open Java course. Then, you will learn to use the annotations large display, chart, and simple list. Finally, you will adjust the dashboard view using CSS. Create a new project in OpenZava. Assign a name to the project. In the template, select invoicing. Finish. Our first step is to create a module manually. So create a package called com.yourcompany.invoicing.dashboards. And inside, create a class called Invoice Dashboard. Go to Application XML located in the folder SRC Main Resources Java. and create a module with the name Invoice Dashboard, which will use as a model the transient class we just created. As a controller, use init model with new instance. Save it. Do Maven install and start the application. Here, we have used the module name equal to the model, but you can use another name if you wish. The controller we used has an action that instantiates a model object and assigns it to the view so that the getters we will create later are loaded. Log in with admin admin and go to the module we created. Currently, our module is empty. We are going to create a getter method that returns a static value and displays it in our module. Add the large display annotation to tell it to display it in this way. Save and restart the application. This is how a large display is displayed. If we go to the annotation, we can see that it has several attributes we can use, for example, to define an icon. We can also add a prefix. But in our case, it is unnecessary since the money annotation does it automatically. Save and restart the application. The money icon is due to the icon attribute. And as for the money annotation, it adds the money symbol. OpenZavi uses material design icons, so the icon names come from there. We are going to display a value that we obtained from a JPA query. Which would be the sum of the total of all invoices. Test it. Perfect. We add other methods to get the number of clients who had an invoice and the number of invoices created. At this point, we can define the order of how they are displayed in the view. In the view annotation, put the property names separated by commas so they are placed in the same row, number of customers, number of invoices, and total invoiced. 
test the change. Now we are going to display a chart. And for this, we need to create an auxiliary class, which we will call invoice per month. Add the Lombok annotations, getter, setter, and all args constructor. Then, declare the properties to be used. Month. Total amount. And VAT. Save it. This method will return a collection so the chart can work with the information. In the JPA query of this method, there is something to keep in mind. We must use all the properties of the auxiliary class in the same order that we have declared them in the class, and the values to be obtained must be of the same data type. By reading the query, it seems like we are obtaining values for a collection of invoice per month objects with its constructor. Finally, we add the member to the view annotation and test it. Perfect. Now we are going to display a non-editable list where the best build months are shown. The query is similar to the one we did for the chart. Add the simple list annotation. Here, we can use the list properties annotation to indicate which values to display in the list. Even though we will not use VAT, it must be in the query. Finally, we add the member to the view annotation and test it. This is how a simple list would look. Let's make some changes to the view using CSS. In Chrome, I press F12 to use the developer tools. Clicking this icon will automatically locate the element I select later. For example, this empty space. It marks an element whose class is aux detail, but this one doesn't interest us. Instead, its parent, the div whose class is aux view. This aux view is inside another div, which will help us later to locate the aux view in CSS. Select the aux view div, and in style, I can simulate the CSS change. Test with max width. Add a margin top. which is to separate a bit here. And leave the margin left and right as auto. Done. Now we are going to change the width of the large display. We see there is still a small space. This seems to have something to do with the margin or padding, so we'll set it to 0px. There's still a bit left, we'll fix it with dash 5px. Perfect.
Go to the custom CSS file located in the folder SRC main web app Sava style. This is where we should put our CSS. Since we have several elements with the same aux large display class, we will use the parent span's ID to identify it. As for the aux view, we will also use the ID. Done. Do a Maven install and restart the application. You can have more than one dashboard or many elements, so when you need to organize them, you can use CSS to do it easily. Perfect, this is how it would look. We have seen how to create your own dashboard, use annotations like large display, chart, simple list, and then customize the view with CSS to adjust them. In the video description, you have a link to an article in the documentation where you can copy and paste the code we used in the video. If you have any questions or issues, you can ask us on the forum. You can find the link in the video description. Bye.